The neighbors pointed and laughed, but he knew about the potential in the eyesore he had created. People will do anything when it comes to exterminating a pest problem, so when one man perfected a way to get rid of the winged hell razors, people would come running to learn how he did it. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Tim Jarvis was a family man living in the countryside with his beautiful wife and kids. They loved the fresh air of the countryside, but there were few pests that really got in their nerves. Tim would stop at nothing to get rid of the annoying guests. Tim started slowly with small hacks he found on Google. He first wanted to address the mosquito problem. He made a few traps that looked out of Mac Jiver, but he'd only find that the answer to the problem was in his fridge all along. He found an easy hack to do with soda bottles in the internet and it worked wonders. He put them up around his house and lo and behold the mosquito problem seemed to just disappear. Plus his chickens got tasty snacks too. The next invader was quite a painful one. Tim yelled out in pain and slapped the back of his neck. Tim felt the pain on his neck and knew all too well what it was, a horsefly. He hated horseflies with a passion. Anyone who's been on a wrong end of the horsefly bite knows how painful it can be. He's had to make a specialized method for these pests. Tim went between the planning phase on his computer to the building phase in his workshop, trying to get the best trap that would put a stop to the painful bites. Then he had a eureka moment when one horsefly slammed against the window and fell to the ground. He got to work, created the best contraption for getting rid of them, but everyone else would think he was crazy. The contraption wasn't exactly small. Tim had to build it in smaller pieces so that he could assemble it on his well-looked-after yard. He knew how much pain and misery he and his kids were in. He had to do this. He knew that one trap wouldn't take care of every insect pest. Mosquitoes loved the wet weather, but he had already dealt with them. He knew what exactly horseflies liked, humidity. They also loved the warm sun, and to their determined dark colors, he devised his best trap yet. It looked like a through line with bin bags filled with murky water. Tim assembled a contraption on his front lawn, but the real interesting part was the perspex in the middle of the trough. He labored over it and then went back inside. The next day, he checked back on it and was in disbelief. It had worked. The idea was the black garbage bag would attract the horseflies, and then they would run into the plexiglass and fall into the water, the key being that Tim had to make sure the glass was always clean and therefore invisible to the flying monsters. The collection that had accumulated over the past hour was astonishing. Just to think all those little guys would have been flying free and tormenting his family. But the best part was still to come. The neighbors noticed that the trap was doing its job. One of them sheepishly came up to Tim, apologized for his rude comments about the eyesore, and asked him to show him how to make his own. Tim wasn't going to keep this revelation to himself. So he went one step further and uploaded the idea onto the internet. It was a long until the post exploded and people from all over the world, at least ones that had problems with these kind of bugs, showered him with praises and thank yous. Here is where Tim had another light bulb moment. There was clearly a demand, but not everyone was handy. He rushed to patent the design and refine how it looked. Online sales were now the bread and butter for so many companies, so why not cash in on a small part? The orders came flying in and soon Tim's workshop became more than a place to putter. The best part? It got his kids involved in ways he would never imagine. They learned more about construction and begged to help him with their new secret weapon. They even gave their own marketing ideas and experimented making their own traps. And to think it had all started with a single bug bite, but what would they do with the money? Tim was in charging a lot, just enough to make a fair profit. The plan was to pay off some bills first. Then he was going to squirrel away a bunch of it to save for a family vacation. Where? Any place that didn't have these kind of bugs. 